Here we go on with the structure of mind and the development of meaning. First of all, we consider the Isakara entoptic, the breast entoptic, the signal, which is the focusing in and out. But really, this focusing in, that concentration applies to the self. And the opening out applies to the intelligence, you know, the information, the intelligence, you know, the radiance. So there's the shining self, it's a coaxial signal. The energy is cap the dark energy, the energy is coming in in step one and going come returning in step two. So step one is the self the creator, the imagination, the shining self and then the energy returning is the intelligence, the vision. So you see this circle is representing the whole mind, your whole inner mind. Now this is important to understand. This is the whole mind and it consists of all these points in its array or uh, a matrix of points. An important thing to understand is that with our minds that can either be real or imaginary straight away. So this is the superposition both real and imaginary. As real it's the super pixel. As imaginary it's a point in mind, a point in this field. So we have the shining self, the creator, the one who imagines, and then we have the intelligence. And this can neither be real or imaginary. So we can see it as a drawing that we can imagine a vision. And that vision can be obtained. We can then put it in practice in the world, or we can construct that vision in our minds from the world. This is how our minds work to control or function of our imagination and our projection. So there we have all the points. Here we have the beginning of movement to that point. See when it's moving we have a line, we have a line. But this is the sphere of intent because that moving, that drawing is being done with intent. So this is intent, and then the consequences of intent are a conscience. You know, the awareness of intent is what we call our conscience, which is the movement of this point. You know, in spirit, this is the abstract, the spirit. This movement, so this movement here, is the initiative. It's a stimulus. This is a function to start us moving, the initiative, what we're going to follow. If it's a drawing, a plan, an imagination, then we can be drawing around that plan. So it's following that plan, creating the movement. And then this is again is the, the perfection. The input is the conscience, the output is the perfectionist. The perfectionist following the plan here. Now here we must deal with this triangle, the video triangle which is the realm of quantum mechanics. So it's a two-dimensional world of seeing the line, the movement, the drawing on the face, you know, the table, the two-dimensional. So here we have the I, the idea of the self, the ego, the driver. And that driver sees things moving and then this is the accelerator, moves in with or away from those moving objects. There we have the face, so the, the ego or the baby, see this is the father, mother and baby, the baby, the avatar, sees the mother's face, can read the mother's face. So this is the intuition, the reading of faces is the intuition, the reading of situations. Because this is the eternal, 
this really is the eternal triangle, the mother, father uh, and baby in a development of our consciousness from the universal intellect, from the whole field of mind in which this psychodrama of mother, father and baby uh, takes place but you see this is a development of the meaning so we have the structure of mind and then we have the development of the meaning so here we have the example of a guide following signals and returning back to the point, we are like missing the point or misleading, being pushed back in like comedy, falling over, this sort of thing. So we have movement of consciousness, and here we have face and intuition, and here we have the vision, the avatar, the driver. This is the quantum mechanical triangle, the video, the video image, which can either be real or imaginary because it's all in, in the mind in superposition. From that movement, from that movement, we get the idea of space, of being in different places that we've moved, but we weren't in the place we were before. So from those quantum movements, we get a waveform. Remember, this is quantum. Then from that quantum, we get a waveform. Now that waveform, see, it's the endurance Let me quickly go back. These triangles, this is I, the imaginary. This is pi for the movement. Uh, phi, the golden mean for the way we see harmony. And then E, the eternal, the exponential, the cyclical. So we've got these basic functions. Pi giving rise to the left hemisphere of the brain. Uh, the E giving rise to the right hemisphere, you know, that which doesn't change, the silent knowledge, the intuition, and phi giving that sense of harmony. Now, returning to where I was, the movement, the quantum movement creates that, that waveform. And obviously the waveform comes in light. But as we, as our, as, you know, we can see that in colour. But on the main level, it creates the audio signal because the endurance of the waveform creates the sound. This sense of moving from place to place gives the idea of space, and each space is identified with its smell. And that space is fluid. So this is identified with the flow of fluid, which obviously in an animal, you know, we drink and then we urinate. Now in the womb, we're actually living and breathing our own urine. So we smell as home, as the womb. Which is an old sign, remember? The womb of the urine. So, for example, bedwetting is returning to the womb to live in the smell of the, your own urine, of your own home, your own womb. And then the endurance of that wave is the audio signal, the soundtrack to our lives. And there, from that space-time, we have energy, you know, the E equals M, the reality. <laughs>